Okay, so we talked about the two main types of keywords. You have your short tail keywords and your long tail keywords. Obviously, we want to focus on the long tail keywords because that's people that are closer to being ready to buy and they're at the end of their customer buying process. So that's why we want to go after the long tail terms as well as it, they are lower competition. So um, outside of those two types, there are also even more types of keywords if we want to break that down even further. And that's what I want to be talking about in this video. So basically what I mean by that is when we start sorting our keyword research, we will be breaking these things down by user intent. And this is how, these are the seven different types of user intent keywords. Now, not everyone will do this in their keyword research. I like to do this if I am just starting out with a brand new website or I am researching a brand new niche that I'm going into and this is for a new business and we're starting everything from scratch and we want to get a really deep analysis of our market so we know where to go from there. It also will make our research, any further research that we do later on, it'll make that a whole lot easier because we've already gathered our initial huge list of keywords that we'll be doing and if we go ahead and sort this out by user intent that's something that we'll always have and we'll be able to go back to that and use it again and again in different ways so just quickly touching on these different types of keywords for example the first type would be market defining keywords things like terms and phrases that your target audience is using when they talk about your business your products or your industry so that is the first type of keyword and then of course we go into customer defining keywords these are terms that your customers and prospects are using to define themselves maybe it's things like how do i learn how to optimize my social media pages that may be a long tail keyword phrase because they're referring to themselves and yet it still has to do if you're in the social media or online marketing niche that would still have to do with you in your market, but the, the customer is referring to themselves in what they're typing out. Another type of keyword would be product keywords. So describing the things that you sell or your similar products, uh, services and solutions. So maybe it's things like, you know, social media marketing softwares, social media marketing tools, you know, things like that. Then of course you have the industry thought leader keywords or just uh, people that are the thought leaders that people are typing in that are highly respected and well known within your industry that set the tone. Maybe it's if you're uh, in the social media realm, maybe it's people like Gary Vaynerchuk or maybe it's Tony Robbins if you're in the personal development industry or you know maybe it's someone like Russell Brunson if you're in sales funnels or digital marketing there's so many different types of gurus or experts that can also be considered keywords because those are people that are really well known so people type those people in to the search engine and you can also also use um, their names in different ways so th those are other keywords that can be used you can use com competing company names or uh, brands or even their own terms. So, you know, the competitor terms are a whole section of keywords in themselves because when we're making a list, we want to make sure that, oh, we know what our competitors' keywords are and we know what things to to cover. Maybe they're co we're covering some things that they aren't, and maybe they're covering some things that we aren't. So we wanna know what those terms are and where we cross paths. Another type of keyword is the related industry keywords. So maybe they're not things that are 100% aligned with your industry. Maybe they're not like the, the, um, the market defining keywords, but they are things that are closely related to your niche. Um, if you're within the social media industry, perhaps you want to touch on things in the SEO industry or in the digital marketing industry. So those would be uh, those types of terms. You know, let's say that you're that you're doing social media. Maybe another term that would be closely re related would be uh, SEO tools, right? 
So free SEO tools or blogging tools, those would be something that isn't 100% up your alley, but it's still very closely related and things that your audience would find helpful. And finally, the last type of keyword that uh, we're going to cover is the geo-targeted keywords. That's pretty self-explanatory, basically. Those are very important terms and phrases for local businesses that want to seek those local rankings or those map rankings. And those would be things like, you know, hotel in Atlanta, Georgia, or marketing company in Atlanta, Georgia, or, you know, digital marketing agency agency in Los Angeles or where, wherever it may be, right? Those geo-targeted terms, or maybe it's, um, you know, Tampa SEO company or whatever, you know, there, there could be a hundred different things, but it's anything where they're putting the location in with the, the keyword term. So those are the main types of keywords when it comes to breaking down your keyword research and sorting them and organizing them based on user intent. Those are the seven different types of um, user intents that we will filter by and that will give us different ways that we can use these keywords and it will make it a lot easier for us to be able to use these keywords throughout our content, our website, and our stores. So I hope that has been helpful and I will give you a breakdown of everything I just went through so that you can see each type and um, see how each one breaks down and how you can use it for your business as well. So let's move on and dive into the actual niche research and some of the tips that you can use for finding thousands of keywords and generating a huge keyword list to start choosing from.